Uh, here is a demo of Comet as it can be used for prompt evaluation and LLM app or model evaluation based on a repo I've created for a proof of concept. It has two main modes for uh, comparing different prompt variations or comparing different models or LLM apps. So I will run it first looking at different models that will be evaluated on the same prompts. While that is running, I'll explain a little bit about the configuration. This is set to run on many different kinds of providers, both commercial as well as self-hosted through Olama. And there's different kinds of uh, metrics that can be run, such as hallucination or answer relevance or one that is pretty flexible called GEVAL, which can be instructed to determine measure based on flexible criteria. So the uh, question answering data set that we're going to create is based on a question and context and an expected output. So it is given a sort of ground truth against which to compare. By contrast, we also have a summarization task with a very verbose statement that we ask to summarize while still conveying the main principles. That's what we're going to use, the GVAL metric, in which what you give is a sort of um, chain of thought of instructions on how to provide different dimensions of measure and come up with a calculation for that. As this executes and the different metrics become available, you can see them right away in the experiment. So right now we're looking at the question answering data set and you can see the different models that are being evaluated and the different uh, metric measurements that are provided. Each of these is an independent experiment with a particular model. You can click on it and see the data set item that is being used. In this case, those are those question, answer, context sets that I showed. And you can see the scores with a justification of why the model provided that score. You can further go into the data set item and look at the, uh, the experiment item and look at the trace. So you can see the different evaluation tasks and see the input and the output. You can click on some of these to see the metadata and see very detailed information provided by the model. Supported parameters, things like that. Additional headers of tokens being used and remaining. If you look at the data sets that were created from the code, these can get reused across experiments. They are so, sort of idempotent as far as their creation by their name. So here you can see the two verbose statements that we're asking to summarize. And here we can look at the question answering data set with the context expected output in the question. We can also see that we've created a prompt library that has three different versions of instruction for how to answer a question. These will be compared when we do a different kind of experiment, comparing different prompt variations holding the model constant. So each of these data points corresponds to a different experiment. So you can see the different models here. You can quickly kind of scan and see, oh, the highest hallucination metric was provided by the LAMA 3.21 billion parameter model. You can select several different experiments, in this case representing different models, and click on a compare button in order to see a matrix of the different items and their scores. You can look at the configuration to see the difference. Here we're holding the prompts constant and we're changing the model. And you can look at the feedback scores for each of those. 
You can see now we're also starting to get results back for the summarization task for these models. And they use a different data set, so the score is grouped separately. And this will update live as the results continue to come in. Similarly, if you click on one of those items, you can look at the metric and you can look at the detailed justification. So here you can see the breakdown of the different uh, subcomponents of the score. Here we are running um, what should be the last model. And it just finished. So you can see uh, overall summary uh, results of how long each of those models took to process. And uh, now we can see the complete uh, <coughs> graph of the different GE Val metrics. So if we were to run that again, we would reuse the same prompts. This prompt library can also individually have each prompt versioned with a commit history to have a, not to be confused with these versions or variations of that prompt because we wanted to actually compare them side by side. But it's a way of managing uh, the change <coughs> of a specific prompt. So now let's try a different set of experiments. You can see here they are grouped by data set. And we've got an experiment named prefix that I specified on the command line when I ran the script. I'm going to try the different kind of experiment, which is holding the model constant. I'm going to test those different prompt variations side by side to see how they perform. So the model that I'm using here, I'm specifying as a, a locally hosted 2.57 billion parameter model. And it's starting to trace already. You can see it has not created any new prompts or data sets. It is reusing the ones that were there before. And uh, if we go to experiments now, we can see uh, we are starting to get uh, new experiments come in for prompt evaluation instead of model evaluation. We'll wait for this second one to finish so we can do some comparisons. Okay, so now we could look at two of these side by side. Similarly to before, here's a matrix of all of the different items and the scores. If you look at the configuration, you can see now that the model is held constant and what we have are different prompts or prompt templates with the variables that can be interpolated. So that is the other kind of experiment we can do for evaluating prompts. <clears throat> will similarly allow us to have both ground truth based metrics as well as different kinds of metrics based on GEVAL where we provide instructions on how to determine the score instead of providing a ground truth. So now our processing is finished for our second set of experiments and we can see the prompt evaluation metrics. And similarly we can compare the summarization look at the feedback scores across the data sets. You can look at them based on what prompt variation we're using. And we can look at the configuration in order to see what the difference between them is. Finally, in the configuration, I'll show that here's where you can set AI providers to configure PIDs. And uh, for self-hosted models, you can configure a proxy that comes built in to send chat completion API through to Llama models being served and you can specify which models you want to make available. Those are made available for an interactive prompt playground. So this is a place where you can select from those models uh, to compare and so you can compare any combination of different models or different prompts and 
you can run them to see. So this will allow you to easily see some kind of a change uh, interactively in order to uh, experiment quickly before doing something on a broader scale more systematically. So that's more of the interactive aspect of the playground.